1953, Harvard conducted a study on goal, setting which has since been quoted and referenced in countless articles and books. The study found that people who wrote down their goals were more likely to achieve them than those who didn't. This became known as the Harvard Study on Goals. The 1953 graduating class Harvard MBI students was asked about whether or not they had goals. Three said they had clear written goals. Three said they had clear written goals. 13 had goals, just not written down. 84 did not have goals at all. 10 years later, it was discovered that the 13 who had non-written goals earned on average twice as much as the 84 who did not have goals at all. The three who had written goals outperformed everyone altogether by earning 10 times as much as all of the other 97 combined. What is the secret? Well, what I teach is the importance of goal setting, setting very clear goals, making plans to achieve the goals, and then working on those goals each day because when you are working toward a goal, your self-confidence goes up, your energy goes up, and you actually become more intelligent. So this feeling of forward movement is one of the most important success secrets in the world. Successful people are always moving towards something important to them, and the feeling of movement makes them happy. It releases endorphins in your brain, which cause you to be more creative, more positive, stronger, and more powerful. So why is it then that most people have no goals. If you can earn 10 times as much with goals, and if you can have 10 times as much success with goals, why don't people all have goals? Here are five myths about setting goals and objectives that might stop you from reaching what you want. The first one is I already have goals. I don't need to set any. People who say this also say that their goals are want to be rich. I want to be thin. I want to be thin. I want to be happy. I want to be successful. I want to be popular and I want to live my dreams. But these are not goals. These are wishes and fantasies common to all mankind. Crazy people and homeless people have these as goals. They're not goals. They're just fantasies. Sometimes they're just delusions. A goal, on the other hand, is like a beautiful home, carefully designed and continually upgraded. It's regularly worked on and constantly improved. If it's not in writing, it's merely a dream or a wish. We say that a goal that is not in writing is a wish with no energy behind it. It has no power in your life. It's just a vague objective that comes in and out of your life, sort of like a sunrise and a sunset without ever accomplishing anything. The second most common misconception that people have about not setting goals is, I don't need goals. I'm doing fine. Living your life without goals and objectives is like setting off across an unknown country with no road signs and no road map. You have no choice but to make it up as you go along reacting and responding to whatever happens all day, all week, all month, and then just hoping for the best. If you are doing well today without written goals and plans, wow, it means you could probably be doing many times better in the future if you had clear targets to aim at and the ability to measure your progress as you go along. It's vital to have goals in every part of your life. Myth number three about goal setting is I don't need written goals. I have them all in my mind. Now the average stream of consciousness includes about 1500 thoughts or words a minute that race through your mind like a river. If your goals are only in your mind, they're invariably jumbled up, vague, confused, contradictory, and deficient in many ways. If your goals are just tumbling around in your mind, they offer no clarity and they give you no motive power. You become like a ship without a rudder, drifting with the tides crashing into the rocks, and eventually, you'll never realize your full potential. The fourth most common myth is, I don't know how to set goals. Well, no wonder you can take a master's degree at a leading university and never receive a single hour of instruction on goal setting and goal achieving. But fortunately, setting a goal is a skill like time management, teaching, selling, managing, or even riding a bicycle. Anything else that you need to become a highly productive person and all skills are learnable. This was the great turning point in my life. All essential skills are learnable. Everybody who can do it today at one time could not do it today at one time, could not do it at all. And what others have learned, you can learn as well. 
You can learn the skill of goal setting through practice and repetition until it becomes as easy and as automatic as breathing in and breathing out. And from the very first day that you begin setting goals, the progress you will make and the successes you'll enjoy will absolutely astonish you. Now, the final myth that people use not to set goals is goals don't work. Life is too unpredictable. Well, here's an analogy. When a plane takes off for a distant city, it will be off course 99 of the time. The complexity of the avionics and the skill of the pilots are focused on continual course corrections. Now, it's the same in life. But when you have a clear, long-term goal with specific plans to achieve it, you may have to change course many times, and you will, but you will eventually arrive at your destination of health, wealth, and great success. You have two choices in life. You can either work on your own goals, or you can work for someone else and work on achieving their goals. When you learn how to set goals for yourself, you take complete control of your life and jump to the front of the line in your potential for great achievement. A road will get you there, and as Wayne Gretzky said, you miss every shot you don't take. Uh, the very act of taking the time to decide what you really want in each area of your life can change your life completely. The 3% factor is a phenomenon where only 3% of adults have written goals and plans, yet this 3% earns more than all of the other 97% put together. Why is this? The simplest answer is that if you have a clear goal and a plan to achieve it, you have a track to run on every single day instead of being sidetracked by distractions and diversions. More and more of your time becomes focused in a straight line from where you are to where you want to go. This is why people with goals accomplish so much more than people without them. The tragedy is that most people think that they already have goals, but what they really have are hopes and wishes. However, hope is not a strategy for success and a wish has been defined as a goal with no energy behind it. Goals that are not written down and developed into plans are like bullets without powder in the cartridge. People with unwritten goals go through life shooting blanks because they think they already have goals and never engage in the hard, disciplined effort of goal setting, which is the master skill of success. Multiply your chances of success. In 2006, USA Today reported a study in which researchers selected a large number of people who had made New Year's resolutions. They divided these people into two categories, those who had set New Year's resolutions and written them down, and those who had set New Year's resolutions but had not written them down. Twelve months later, they followed up on the respondents in this study, and what they found was astonishing. Of the people who had set New Year's resolutions but had not written them down, only 4% had actually followed through on their resolutions. However, among the group who had written down their New Year's resolutions, an exercise requiring only a couple of minutes, 44% had followed through on them. This is a difference of more than 1,100% in success, achieved by the simple act of crystallizing the resolutions on paper. The discipline of writing, in my experience, working with several million people over the past 25 years increases the likelihood of achieving your goals by 10 times or 1,000%. This doesn't mean that writing out your goals guarantees success, but rather only that it increases the probability of success by 10 times, which are very good odds to have working in your favor, especially when there is no cost or risk involved in putting pen to paper. Writing is called a psycho neuromotor activity. The act of writing forces you to think and concentrate. It forces you to choose what is more important to you and your future. When you write down a goal, you impress it into your subconscious mind, which then goes to work 24 hours a day to bring your goal to reality. Sometimes I tell my seminar audiences, only 3% of adults have written goals and everyone else works for those people and everyone else works for those people. In life, you either work to achieve your own goals or you work to achieve the goals of someone else. Which is it going to be? Success versus failure mechanisms. Your brain has both a success mechanism and a failure mechanism. The failure mechanism is the temptation to follow the undisciplined path of least resistance, to do what is fun and easy rather than what is hard and necessary. Your failure mechanism operates automatically throughout your life, which is the major reason why most people fail to fulfill to fulfill their individual potentials. On the other hand, 
your success mechanism is triggered by a goal. When you decide on a goal, you override your failure mechanism and can help you change the direction of your life. You go from being a ship without a rudder, drifting with the tide, to being a ship with a rudder, a compass, and a clear destination, sailing in a straight direction toward your goal, the power of goals. A client of mine recently told me an interesting story. He said that he had attended one of my seminars in 1994, where I spoke about the importance of writing down goals and making plans for accomplishing them. At that time, he was 35 years old, selling cars for a dealership in Nashville and earning about $50,000 a year. He told me that day changed his life. He began writing out his goals and plans and working on them daily. 12 years later, he was earning more than $1 million a year and was the president of a fast-growing company that sells services to some of the biggest companies in the country. He told me that he could not imagine what his life would have been like if he had not taken out a piece of paper and written down the goals he wanted to achieve in the years ahead. Take control of your life. Aristotle wrote that human beings are teleological organisms, which simply means that we are purpose, driven. Therefore, you only feel happy and in control of your life when you have a clear goal that you are working toward each day. This also means that the ability to become a lifelong goal. Setter is one of the most important disciplines you will ever develop. In nature, the homing pigeon is a remarkable bird with an uncanny instinct that enables it to fly back to its home roost no matter how far away it starts or in what direction it must go. You can take a homing pigeon out of its roost, put it in a cage, put the cage in a box, cover the box with a blanket, and put the covered box in the back of a pickup truck. You could then drive 1,000 miles in any direction, open up the truck, take out the box, take off the blanket, open the cage, and throw the homing pigeon up into the air. The homing pigeon will circle three times, get its bearings, and then fly straight back to its home roost. This is the only creature on Earth that has this ability except for human beings, except for you. You also have this remarkable homing ability within your own brain, but with one special difference, the homing pigeon seems to know instinctively exactly where its home roost is located, and then it has the ability to fly directly back to that roost. In contrast, when human beings program a goal into their minds, they can then set out without having any idea where they will go or how they will achieve that goal. But by some miracle, they will begin to move unerringly toward that goal, and the goal will begin to move toward them. Still, many people are hesitant to set goals. They say, I want to be financially independent, but I have no idea how I'm going to get there. As a result, they don't even set financial success as a goal. But the good news is that you don't need to know how to get there. You just need to be clear about what you want to accomplish. The goal striving mechanism in your brain will guide you unerringly to your destination. Here's a seven step method to achieving your goals. One, decide exactly what you want. Be specific and clear about your goals. Two, write it down. Put your goals in writing. This simple act increases your chances of success significantly. Three, set a deadline. Give yourself a specific time frame to achieve your goal. Four, make a list of everything you can think of that you will need to achieve your goal. Five, organize the list. Arrange the items on your list into a plan or sequence. Six, take action on your plan. Begin working on your goals immediately, taking consistent and focused actions. Seven, resolve to do something every day that moves you toward your major goal. Consistent daily action is the key to success. By following these steps, you can harness the power of goal, setting to take control of your life and achieve your dreams. If you found this video valuable and would like to learn more about goal setting and personal development, please subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful, and don't forget to share it with your friends who might benefit from this knowledge. Thank you once again for watching, and I look forward to sharing more valuable insights with you in the future.